In today's video, I will be showing you how you can create these magic card effect with Elementor. These cards are quite easy and only takes 15 minutes to create and it can give your website a unique and modern look. So let's see how to make one. So on the surface, this is how the cards look like and as soon as we hover over them, we get to witness this beautiful effect. To achieve this effect, we need to build the page from scratch. So inside the Elementor, click the plus button and select three column layout. Then set the height to minimum height and set the vertical height to 100. Now let's add some color to the background. For that, go to style tab and select color. We are going to use this color. You can copy the same hex code if you like. The background is done. Now let's add inner section to the middle column. Remove the second one. Now we have single section in this column. So let's select the outer column and give it some padding. Let's say 15 pixels. No, 20 pixels. Yeah, it's good now. Select the inner section. Give it a minimum height. Then set the vertical alignment to middle. After that, go to style tab and add some background color to the section. Then go to advanced tab and add like 10 pixels of padding. Now let's start adding some border. Go to the style tab and change the border type to solid. And now let's change the width to two pixels. Then add the color. Now just to follow this tutorial, you can just copy this same hex code and later you can play around if you like to, like once we have the page set up and running. From the border radius, give it six pixels. Then we need to add the hover effect. So go to hover, select the border type to solid, width, keep it two pixels and the color should be transparent. For now, it would just disappear as you hover over it. but we will make it work. Just keep following. Let's add some element first. So in this section, let's add some text, drag a heading and name it whatever you like. Let's say sales and set the alignment to center. Add some color. I'm going to make it off white. Also add some subtext Click this icon and drag the text editor and place it under the heading. Now align it to the center and change the color. The card is incomplete without a button, right? So let's add that. Drag and drop that here. Align it to the center. Change the color to transparent. So drag this to the left. Then set the border type to solid. Set the width to one pixel and change the radius to 30 pixels. Now it looks good. The layout is complete and now we can proceed to the magic card effect. For that, we need to select the inner section, go to advanced tab, then custom CSS. Now custom CSS is only available for Elementor Pro. So if you don't have that, you can head to the first link in the description to get one. Now we need to add custom CSS for the magic card effect. So copy this CSS from my website. I have provided that in the description as well. So copy this whole snippet and paste it in the Elementor. So with the CSS pasted, now if we close the sidebar and hover over the card, it doesn't work. For that, there is one last setting. Open the sidebar, select the main section. Go to advanced tab and add the value one to the Z index. Now let's minimize the side menu and see if that works. 
So now if we hover over the card, we can see the beautiful magic card effect. Isn't that awesome? Leave a like if you're liking it so far. Now if you want, you can play with the colors, open the sidebar and select the inner section. Go back to custom CSS from the advanced tab. As you can see, we have first color, second and third color. You can change this to whatever you like. For example, let's set this to red, green and blue. Let's close the bar. So as you can see, we have the red, green and blue. This doesn't look so nice as the previous one. So I'm going to switch it back. Now duplicating these cards is very easy. Go to the main column and duplicate. Let's duplicate one more time and delete the empty ones. We are almost done, only one step left. Let's see how it looks on other devices like tablet and smartphone. So go to here and select the tablet. Uh, it's looking nice. And on the mobile device, oh great, we don't need to do anything. Now let's close the responsive bar. So we can see the border and the magic card effect only appears when you hover over it. But if you want to stay the effect all the time, let's have a look. Select the inner section, go to advanced tab, custom CSS. So from here, we will be removing the hover pseudo code. So remove this hover code from these four places. Now if we minimize it, we can see the magic card effect stays there. Now if you want to have that on other cards, then you can remove the same hover code from their CSS as well or just copy and paste this CSS from this one, easy enough. And when you are done, don't forget to update from here. And that's pretty much it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if it was, then click the like button below. And again, if you want to check out Elementor, you can head to the first link in the description. Like, share, subscribe, stay safe, bye-bye.